Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode as we count down to the 50th anniversary of the Magic Kingdom. We're getting so close and today I had the privilege of going to Haleo right when it first opened. Had an amazing meal, an amazing meal. And Jose Andres, the chef owner, um, an, an exceptional person with all the charity that he does. Um, so today I figured why not do a little paella? We'll do it a little differently. Let's go. All right, I'm using two pans because I can't find my larger cast iron. You want to do this in, in a pretty large um, pan. The key is to have one pan, not too high of the sides. If you happen to have a paella pan, it's even better. But we're just going to start with a little bit of olive oil. And we'll just put a little bit in each pan and turn our heat on. What I like to do is add, start off with my chorizo. So uh, this is going to go in and then we'll remove it and we'll just keep building flavors on top of it. Um, Here, it's something like this, because there's so much fat inside, um, you might want to just invest in one of these. It's just a screen with a handle, but you want the ones that actually have um, the brackets on it to keep it down. It uh, allows, it keeps it from items just splattering all over your, over your stove uh, or countertop and keeps everything in. I'll link that down in, my, uh, in the description box um, for where you can purchase that from Amazon. All right, so you can see we got nice color on here. It's released some of its oils. Again, this is not cooked. I'm just gonna pull these out, put these to the side for a second, and I'm gonna drop in uh, some chicken thighs. And the chicken thighs, all we're doing for this part is just searing them and getting some of that flavor in there. All right, now, now that our chicken has beautiful color, you can see all that nice crunchy bits on top. I'm just going to remove this from the pan. We're going to lower our heat a little bit. Okay, so now on a low heat, I'm just going to take onion and I'm going to make most of it into this pan. And remember, you hit with salt, and that's going to let out all the juices out of the um, out of the onion. Okay, as they start to go through, and they're absorbing all the flavors from the chicken and the chorizo, go in with some diced red onion. I mean, red pepper. I'm sorry. You just want this to cook down until it's almost like a, like a jam. Alright, so now this is starting to cook down. At this point I like to add the garlic to make sure that nothing's gonna, it's not gonna burn. And you want to mix that garlic in there. And you can see how it's starting to reduce and get nice and caramelized. This is uh, the beginning, it's called a sofrito. Um, Paella, you can only move it for a couple of minutes once you start going. The rest of the time you have to let it sit the way it is. Alright, now at this point I'm going to add um, diced tomato to both. That's really what's going to start to thicken this up. All right, so I sliced up the chorizo, all right, that we started with the pan. We're going to just go uh, 
just spot these around and these are going to finish off inside of here and then that chicken that we had um, that's going to go in as well so these I just sprinkle them around get that juice in there from the chicken that was resting okay so it's at this part this time where I add smoked paprika okay not a ton just enough for that bite okay so at this point I'm gonna add my rice okay rice is raw I seasoned it with paprika, garlic powder dried onion okay so now uh, to every cup of rice it's four and a half to five cups of water um, I'm using a mixture of water chicken stock and fish stock and we're going to cover this here that's perfect okay folks very important very important part right now this is the last time that you can mix anything in your pan okay um, everything is gonna settle you're gonna go to a very high heat on both or just one if you have just the one pan and that is it. That is the last time that you're going to stir anything in here. You want to make sure that the, that the vegetables are now incorporated with the rice. The rice is going to start to sink to the bottom. And this is the most important part. Time it. 11 minutes. 11 minutes. No touch. You have to touch. You can still stir. But I want this to be on a rapid boil and cook as fast as possible. All right, so I actually wanted to show you. So we still have about four minutes on this one to be to, to get it. But you see how the small one has been reduced? That's what you're looking for. We are done mixing it. I'm gonna wait till this one gets a little bit more and then we're gonna go into the next. Okay, so now at this point where I'm starting to see the liquid starting to reduce, I'm just gonna add some peas, frozen peas, why? Because they're in every paella recipe. And I'm going to start with adding the shrimp around the outside. And I'm going to lower the heat and let this just really reduce and cook, cook out the seafood. We have our shrimp. Clams. And my favorite, mussels. I like to stand the muscles up and then watch them open up inside of the sauce. It's a great presentation and it entertains me while I'm cooking. We're almost there folks, we'll be back in a minute. Alright, we're 90% there, let's move it over to the cutting board, I'll show you guys what we got. All right, so here we have it, right? You get your clams, your rice. Remember, we got that chicken and everything, and the chorizo, and the peas, and your rice. And do you see that? You see those little crunchy parts? It's not burnt. That's actually what you want. That's the crunchy part of the rice finishing in with the. Um, 
with the shrimp and your clams and your mussels. Nice good scoop of rice right there. Right there, folks. That's the money shot. Finish it with a little bit of parsley. And there's your paella. Let's go. All right, folks. Blazing hot. You just saw it come out of the pan. I'm only doing this for you guys. Um, to Chef Andreas, thank you for all the charity that you do. Thank you for Haleo. Disney Springs, folks, don't pass it up. This is one of millions of dishes on that, re on that restaurant's menu that are outstanding. Try the olives. Don't believe me? Try the olives. And here we go. Oh. Can't beat it. Folks, one pan. Did everything in one pan. Just a bunch of ingredients, build flavor. It's outstanding. If you like what you saw, please like, subscribe, and share. Tell your friends, tell your friends. Till next time.